Expect more. This is Channel 6 News at 5. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Doug Curran and I'm Leslie Draffin. Tonight we are learning more about what led up to the fatal shooting of Colleen resident Curtis Shelley. The shooting was caught on camera and tonight police confirm a person involved is related to a Colleen police officer. Channel 6 News reporter Imani Payne has the exclusive video of the shooting and joins us now with more Imani. Doug and Leslie, video of the shooting captured by a witness was sent to the victim's family this morning. The person allegedly told the family what happened wasn't right and that justice should be served. However, the footage complicates the case. Before we play it, though, we do want to warn you the video is very graphic. Here's a look. You see Curtis Shelley in the white shirt arguing with his neighbor, the suspect in the green vest. Shelley's fiance, who was there during the incident, says the two were arguing about whether or not the suspect stabbed a dog belonging to Shelley's family member. The fiance says when things escalated, the suspect got out of his truck with a gun and continued the argument. You see Shelley yelling and walking towards the suspect. You also see the suspect avoid getting back into his car when he has the chance. After about two minutes of the tense exchange, the suspect fires his gun and shoots Shelly from just a few feet away. Shelly falls to the ground and later died at the hospital. Our legal expert Liz Mitchell breaks down the video and what it could mean for the investigation moving forward. I would say a self-defense claim would be very difficult in this case. It's kind of like that old saying, you can't bring a gun to a fist fight. The person in the white t-shirt doesn't have anything to, yeah, not a weapon or anything that would um, justify deadly force in this case. She went on to say the video should help the case move along and says the suspect's size and the fact that he didn't get into his car and drive off during the argument will play a role in the case. The family says the video was heartbreaking to watch and they're now wondering even more so why the suspect hasn't been arrested. They also say they've been contacted by the Texas Rangers who tell them they are looking over the case alongside KPD. The suspect in the shooting has yet to be identified. We'll have more on one of the party's ties to KPD coming up tonight at 6. Doug and Leslie. Bonnie, thank you so much.